Hi, this is Erica, and I'm here to talk to you about this book on our going into third grade summer reading list called A Day in the Life of a Pooh, a New, and You. So right off the bat, it's kind of funny. Um, this is a laugh out loud guide to life on earth. It's written by Mike Barfield and Jess Bradley, written and illustrated, because this is jam packed with full color artwork that I will show you a little bit of. But truthfully, I thought this title would be funny enough even to just have the word new in it, because new is a funny word to say, that G is silent. Um, but of course, I was drawn to it because it has the funny title, uh, Poo. And who doesn't want to learn a little bit about Poo? And right here you see a dung beetle right here on the cover. But um, Poo notwithstanding, this is a graphic style nonfiction book that covers just about everything. So here is a spread all about the diary of an earthworm. And here is a spread all about the day in the life of a porcupine. And right here, a pangolin. Have you ever seen a pangolin? Look up pangolin videos. They're very, very cute. Um, it has animals. It has plants. A day in the life of a sunflower. Going back here. Day in the life of your skeleton and a deeper look inside your bones. All of these things are um, given to you in sort of this little bite-sized information, but it's also very funny. So, hello, 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 where's some of your bones? And then the skull says, hey, shouldn't I be doing the talking around here? Um, we're part of your skeleton, there's 206 of us, and an adult human. So it talks all about the stapes bone is the smallest bone in your body. It's in your ear and it's the size of a grain of rice. So you get kind of this humor, but you also get these really funny bits. And it is like that on every single spread. I like that you can kind of read one little section about the Komodo dragon if you want. You could read this whole section on earth science. You can come in and out, dip in and out, which I think is great for readers of all ages. Um, or you could read it front to back because don't forget you get that little section on um, poo, but you also have a section on hiccups. I mean, who doesn't want to learn more about hiccups or your tongue? Um, I also love the bright colors, kind of these silly illustrations. Um, I think sometimes it's great to have silly go alongside science because sometimes there can be a lot of information to take in because you too kind of get the best of both worlds. So funny and informative. Don't miss it. A day in the life of a poo, a new, and you.